now we are going to study about nitrogen cycle. Okay, this is nitrogen cycle. What you can see in the board is nitrogen cycle. See, you know that nitrogen is one of the most important component in our body. Nitrogen is essential for protein synthesis. Nitrogen is essential for chlorophyll formation. Nitrogen is needed for the nucleic acid formation. Which are the nucleic acid? DNA and RNA. Okay, DNA. DNA and RNA are the two nucleic acids. DNA, the full form is deoxyribonucleic acids. RNA, the full form is ribonucleic acid. These two nucleic acids control the uh, hereditary characters of organisms. Hereditary characters means the characters that pass from the parents to the offspring are under the control of DNA which are actually present in the chromosomes which are present inside the nucleus. Since these acids are present inside the nucleus of a cell, these acids are called nucleic acids. Are you clear? So these are the two types of nucleic acid. For the formation of nucleic acid, nitrogen is very much essential. Protein production, nitrogen is needed. Chlorophyll formation, nitrogen is needed. Different enzymes are produced uh, because of the presence of nitrogen. Therefore, nitrogen is one of the most important element in the life of all organisms, especially human beings. Okay. Though there are 20, sorry, 78 percentage of nitrogen. There is 78 percentage of nitrogen in the atmosphere, but this nitrogen cannot be used directly by human beings. The nitrogen which is actually fixed or taken by some of the bacteria, you know the nitrogen fixing bacteria which is that, see, Rhizobium leguminosara, which are present in the root nodules of legume plants, isn't it? So this rhizobium as well as some of the blue-green algae, okay, rhizobium is the nitrogen fixing bacteria, which is the nitrogen fixing bacteria, rhizobium, okay. And another example is blue-green algae, which are the blue-green algae, blue-green algae includes Anabella, Spirulina, no stock, Spirogyra, all these are all these organisms are examples for blue green algae. These two categories of organisms can fix the atmospheric nitrogen, that can absorb the atmospheric nitrogen. Okay. This rhizobium or these organisms are known as biological fixers. That means Bio means living organisms. Since the living organisms like rhizobium and blue green algae are helping for absorbing or fixing the nitrogen from the atmosphere, this is known as biological nitrogen fixation. This is called biological nitrogen fixation. The nitrogen is fixed by the help of some of the organisms. This is called biological nitrogen fixation. The nitrogen in the atmosphere is also converted into usable form by lightning, during lightning, during thunder and lightning, the nitrogen get oxidized and converted into nitrate like compounds in the soil. Therefore, nitrogen is converted into usable form, okay, the atmospheric nitrogen, though there are, uh, there is, there are 78 percentage of nitrogen, it is of no use. So, this atmospheric nitrogen is converted into usable form, usable compounds like nitrate. Okay, compounds like nitrates in the soil with the help of some bacteria or blue green algae, and that fixation is called biological nitrogen fixation. All these nitrogen is converted into usable form in the soil during lightning. Now, see the nitrogen is converted into usable form. Now it is available in the soil. From the soil, this nitrogen is taken, absorbed 
this nitrogen is absorbed by the plants okay plants absorb this nitrogen why these plants are absorbing the nitrogen nitrogen is essential for chlorophyll formation the nitrogen is essential for dna rna formation nitrogen is very much essential for proteins okay so by using this nitrogen plants produce proteins and when these plants are consumed by animals the proteins are goes to the body of animals okay we are depend on plants for our protein isn't it see different protein of rich food like groundnut uh, then grain gram pulses all the pulses and grams are rich in proteins isn't it these proteins are called body building food so for the development of our body development of cells for the growth we need lot of proteins we are getting this protein from plants okay now see from the atmosphere through the living organism the food uh, sorry the proteins reach in the animals through plants now when the plants and animals die when the plants and animals die they are decomposed these plants and animals are decomposed by some decomposing bacteria and this nitrogen are again uh, decomposed that is called denitrifying bacteria actually or denitrogenating bacteria split the nitrogen compounds and the nitrogen in the form of gas again go back to the atmosphere so see nitrogen start from the atmosphere and it goes through the different organism and it reaches the soil that is the earth and again it goes back to the atmosphere this cycling of nitrogen okay the cycling of nitrogen from the atmosphere to the earth and from the earth to the atmosphere through different organisms is known as biogeochemical cycle it is called biogeochemical cycle nitrogen is a chemical okay this nitrogen is a chemical which is from, uh, passing from atmosphere to the earth and from the earth again back to the atmosphere through living organisms that's why it is called biogeochemical cycle and see here the nitrogen never in the atmosphere always remains the same why because though we are using though the plants and animals are using nitrogen again this nitrogen is coming back to the atmosphere because of cycling therefore the amount of nitrogen in the atmosphere always remain 78 percent it will not change therefore nitrogen cycle is an example for perfect cycle okay there may be a question you can expect why nitrogen cycle is known as a perfect cycle why because the percentage of nitrogen in the atmosphere always remains the same okay that's why nitrogen cycle is an example for perfect cycle why it is called a biogeochemical cycle because the nitrogen cycling of nitrogen from the atmosphere to the air and from the air to the atmosphere through living organisms okay this is one that's why the nitrogen cycle is known as biogeochemical cycle hope you understood this this is one of the very important uh, part of chapter number 2 because a question may be asked from this one are you clear now hope you understood this part okay thank you